We have some more huge updates to break down today's video. MW3 is still broken. Some things were fixed, but a lot of other things are still not working. I'll go through all the details you need to know in today's video. We have some more free operator rewards. You guys can redeem some Warzone mobile updates and much more. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you're going to enjoy. But first off here, what is going on with this game right now? So it seems to be that most people got all of their XP progression all back. So your level should be back to where it was before. Your classes should be back up as well. Your weapon levels, your challenges, all that stuff should be good but there's still a lot of stuff not working here so right now it seems like warzone and multiplayer ranked play still not accessible completely down zombies as well for a lot of people still not playable and let me know down below what platform you're on and if you're able to access these modes here because i've been seeing different people be able to access zombies and others aren't able to access i think ranked play is down across the board but zombies might be a bit up in the air so let me know down below if you're able to play any of those modes there now the battle pass and black cell upgrade is fortunately accessible which is good some people were saying they just bought it and they couldn't access any of the content which is crazy your bundles are of course accessible as well as i'll talk about in this video there was a new bundle release today which is kind of funny and also right now i didn't see a tweet or announcement from sledgehammer call of duty or anyone but we apparently have a triple double xp event happening right now which i don't know if it's just me if my game's glitched here but you could clearly see active for all slots here double xp double battle pass xp double weapon xp so maybe they just did this because of the issues happening right now who knows what's going on, but it's kind of funny that they're doing this because the main reason why this game is still broken is actually because you are not getting any XP or progression towards your weapons or your levels. So even though our progress is back, we have our levels back to where they were before, I've been seeing so many comments of you guys saying I've played the last three hours and now realized I haven't leveled up one bit. So crazy stuff there. Camel challenge progression is screwed as well. I've been doing my basic challenges with the melee weapons and zombies and it hardly counts. So that guy is actually able to play zombies. That's a good little update there, I guess. I played two hours leveling weapons and got nine weapon levels. I have my level, but nothing tracks. I mean, crazy stuff here. And this actually might be something you don't get back. So all the time you played today, all the leveling up you did, obviously it's not too bad because it only was a couple of hours but it's time you spent playing the game leveling up your weapons any progress challenges there's a good chance you might not get any of that back which is super unfortunate and i think for this whole ordeal today i saw a lot of comments i just got this one from typical assassin again on my previous video everyone better get at least 2400 cop points for this so especially for the fact that people were grinding today and nothing counted but also just for the fact that the game was broken all day as well people weren't able to access any of their content it is pretty annoying honestly in the grand scheme of things it's not a big deal i guess but it's a game we spent 70 dollars on and for it to not work especially for huge periods of time it would be a decent way to apologize to everyone and giving them some cop points i actually just talked about this in my previous video if they did some type of mini event or a random gift pack in the store where they gave us 500 a thousand cop points maybe even 2400 cop points to allow everyone to go buy any bundle of their choosing just as a little give back for the issues that have been going on and especially the issues that we saw today and i feel like that would be a decent compromise there now obviously the main goal is to not have this stuff happen ever again because it's really annoying but at least giving us some cop points in return would be a, a decent compromise there i guess so will they actually do that i'm not so sure let me know down below your opinions on that there but i feel like that would be the least they could do in this situation and also as well it's kind of crazy that the official call of duty updates account haven't tweeted anything uh, the top tweet here was eight hours ago we're working on a fix for a known issue that appeared overnight that is preventing progress from being tracked in various areas of the game including but not limited to events challenges battle pass and sr players may also notice unusual behavior related to account level and loadout so that bottom part has been fixed there but all the tracking of course is still not working in the bottom tweet there we are also aware the mw3 players may be impacted by this outage teams continue to be actively working to resolve an issue this was four to five hours ago as of recording this video so still no updates there kind of interesting again i wonder if the triple double xp event is just to kind of help with the progression to bring it back to normal maybe i'm not so sure so i think right now it is safe probably to play the game but if you play nothing will progress nothing will count so you might as well just not play the game until we get an official update that everything is fully fixed there i'll be sure to update you guys when that happens on the channel and also shout out to my partner aim controllers a bunch of great customizable controllers over there the one you're seeing up on screen is the one i use every day once this game is actually playable we'll get back on the grind and we'll be using this controller use code maris for an extra discount links are down below but for an update here today of course there still are issues but we did get a bundle 
great we have the pyrobotic bundle for 2400 cop points they should have just dropped this bundle for free honestly but regardless we're getting a swagger operator skin with a pretty cool skin actually i kind of like the look here we'll zoom in okay not that bad uh we have a active duty slot for zombies i don't know about that a dg58 lsw blueprint decent look there we have a wsp swarm blueprint as well no tracers unfortunately that's kind of an l but i guess cool looks on the weapons a zombies acquisition refined ethereum crystal should have been a higher rarity but okay uh, a large decal there weapon sticker and a charm so you know the bundle timing especially today when the game's broken not good but you know it's a scheduled bundle so i i can't be too mad at them and it's a decent bundle overall but it would have been fire if they just said look, look guys we messed up today uh, completely let's just give this bundle for free as a thank you or not as a thank you but just to apologize and say okay look it's our, our bad we'll make sure this doesn't happen again here's a free bundle that would have been the least they could do but uh, of course you still have to spend money on it but let me know down below if you'll be getting this one here it's actually not that bad of course we've been talking about a bunch of free Free operator rewards we've been getting i did a whole video going through exactly how to get the new monster energy operator if you still haven't gotten it that video will be linked down below in the description and the new prime gaming operator pack as well but there's also a really cool operator for cod mobile here so it's through amazon prime as well if you have twitch prime amazon prime prime gaming go to the link down below in the description to claim your reaper puzzle epic operator skin a, a funny looking skin honestly kind of interesting it's available until march 21st in a couple of weeks here and and there's actually a different process to get this skin so first you have to take the code you're gonna get on the prime gaming website bring it to the cod mobile redemption center redeem it there along with your uid as well the verification all that good stuff and you'll get it to your cod mobile account now of course i don't really play cod mobile that much so i do have a code and i'm gonna give it to you guys up on screen so first come first serve this is a cod mobile free operator skin code and for all cod mobile updates i'll be sure to give you guys my codes as well again it's a pretty cool looking operator skin now it would be fire if cod mobile had the same cross progression that warzone mobile is supposed to have with the main games to where you could use the same cosmetics operator skins in the base games because cod mobile as i've talked about on the channel has so many cool master crafts operator skins event rewards that would be so insane to use in mw3 warzone future cards as well unfortunately that's not the case will never happen probably not but as i said warzone mobile that should be the case based on what activision has said and a warzone mobile apparently releasing pretty soon we have some teaser images that haven't been fully revealed here of verdansk and warzone mobile which looks really good and warzone mobile actually looks a lot better they've been doing a lot of updates behind the scenes there it's been in a beta state available in certain countries early it looks pretty good so i can't wait to play that honestly I, I might do some stuff on the channel for warzone mobile i'm not gonna be coming a mobile channel but i might do some stuff here and there because it is a pretty big event a pretty big deal verdansk finally returning of course verdansk will probably return to the base game as well based on the leaks we talked about on the channel but at least for warzone mobile right now it's gonna be cool to see what we get there and hopefully when it does officially release we do get to use different operators from that game in mw3 and the base warzone title so we'll go through all of that info as we get closer to the official launch there let me know down below if you want me to cover more warzone mobile stuff or just a little bit every so often let me know down below but overall that's here for this video be sure to subscribe for more cod update videos like this shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys